week at the start of the school year, Penn Hills School District and police made a mutual decision to cut 46 crossing guards. That decision saved them nearly $600,000. Well, on Friday, after 10-year-old Olivia was hit, her family is now asking, why is it the children who now have to pay the price for that decision? What hurts the most? Mostly my shoulder and my back and my side. Ten-year-old Olivia Walter has a fractured bone above her eye. Her entire right side is bruised with road rash, but she's lucky to be alive after being hit by a box truck Friday after school. I was traumatized. You are traumatized? Yeah. In what way? Like a bad way because I do not like getting hurt at all. The bus dropped her off on Universal Road in Penn Hills. She says she walked up the hill, then tried to cross. A driver had stopped and waved her across, but this box truck was approaching in the other lane. When the person said, go across the street, and when I went across, the truck came out of nowhere, and then it just hit me. Olivia's mom says it shouldn't take her daughter being nearly killed for a change. We've been wanting the crossing guard there for years. We got one last year. That was only a year and nine years she'd been going to school. But this year, according to the district website, they cut the number of crossing guards, saying guards will still be posted at stops that, quote, require a substantial number of students to cross busy roads. Universal Road is no longer one of them. All I want is like crossing guards, sidewalks, and anything that could be like safer for the street to cross. I don't, I really do not want to see any of my friends to get hurt like I did. Colleen says that the school district called her today to let her know that her daughter's bus stop is going to move to a location where she will no longer be required to cross the road. I did call the district to confirm that information, but they refused to answer any of my questions and only referred me to police. Live at Penn Hills tonight, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Kelly.